Winnipeg Crime Stoppers. Between April 2nd and April 3rd, 1999, a downtown art studio was broken into. At least two unidentified suspects entered the building through an elevator shaft on the west side. Once inside, the culprits climbed to the floor which housed the art studio. They used a hammer to pound through the brick wall above the elevator doors to allow access into the studio. Once inside, the vandals ransacked the premises by emptying filing cabinets, slashing valuable paintings, and throwing stereo equipment down the elevator shaft. They left through the front doors. Approximately $200 in cash was stolen, but over $40,000 in damage done. Six paintings with a value exceeding $7,000 each were destroyed. Crime Stoppers will pay up to $2,000 in cash for information leading to the solution of this crime. If you have information on this or any other unsolved crime in Winnipeg, call Winnipeg Crime Stoppers at 786-TIPS. That's 786-8477. Callers never have to reveal their identities. Crime Stoppers pays cash for information on any unsolved crime. At 6 a.m. on Monday, November 8, 1999, a 36-year-old male was shot at the rear of 150 Dexter Street. The victim, who was leaving for work, walked to his vehicle parked at the back of the house. He noticed a vehicle parked directly behind a residence at 105 Kerastine Lane. The vehicle was not running, the lights were off, and due to the darkness, the victim could not see anyone in it. The victim got into his vehicle and noticed a male get out of the parked car. This male, who was carrying a gun, ran towards the victim's vehicle, stopped at the driver's side door, and pointed a shotgun at him. He then fired one shot from point-blank range. The blast shattered the window and struck the victim on the left side of his face. The suspect is described as a male of unknown race, 5 foot 7 inches, 160 pounds, with black hair that covered his ears. He was wearing dark brown sunglasses. The vehicle can only be described as small and dark in color. If you have information on this or any other unsolved crime in Winnipeg, call Winnipeg Crime Stoppers at 786-TIPS. That's 786-8477. Callers never have to reveal their identities. Crime Stoppers pays cash for information on any unsolved crime. Thefts from vehicles became a costly crime in our city last year. A large number of these thefts occurred in the first six months of 1999 along Broadway Avenue and in the Forks area. Vehicles left on city streets, at shopping malls or in hotel parking lots were entered by various methods. Thieves will commonly break a window to gain entry to a locked vehicle. Any type of tool, from screwdrivers to iron bars, can be used. On many occasions, vehicles are simply left unlocked. Expensive car stereo systems are often the target of these thefts. However, any item of value including money, clothing and purses are often stolen. During a 45-day period in 1999, close to $60,000 worth of personal property was stolen. A further $30,000 in damage was caused by thieves breaking into vehicles. These crimes discourage citizens from visiting our downtown area. The damage and property loss also leads to higher insurance costs for all motorists. If you have information on this or any other unsolved crime in Winnipeg, call Winnipeg Crime Stoppers at 786-TIPS. That's 786-8477. Callers never have to reveal their identities. Crime Stoppers pays cash for information on any unsolved crime. ...to go to work. He survived the shooting but had to undergo several reconstructive surgeries. Yesterday, police announced they have arrested the shooting suspect. Now the people living in Sari's former home are no longer worried about a repeat attack. I've always been worried he was going to come back and think the man was still living there. And every time I'd get out of my car, I'd always get this creepy feeling. 50-year-old Andre, Andreas Nicholas Virginis is in police custody. He's charged with attempted murder. Police are